Welcome to today's class. Here we have a nice math olipid before us, a nice algebraic equation, a nice exponential equation before us here. What is the question? The question is n to the power of n or raised to the power of 157 equal to 157. What is the value of n that will satisfy this equation? Easy. So let's take our solution first thing. Okay, now the question again is n to the power of n or to the power of 157 is equal to 157. So what we do here? Yeah, let's do a very simple substitution. Okay, so we can say here, yeah, let, oh, let's use a t, let t be equal to our n or raised to the power of 150. 7. We can make n the subject of the formula. For us to make n to the subject of the formula, then we raise both sides to your 1 all over 1, 5, 7. Do you get that? Yes. So that is to say we're going to have here t to the power of 1 all over 1, 5, 7. This is equal to our n to the power of 1, 5, 7 all raised to one all of our one five seven by some doing this this will leave the system so n will now stand on its own so this is equal to t to the power of one all of our one five seven okay let's go back to our original equation which is a x so if we bring down our original equation so it does means that or this now implies that our n to the power of n or to the power of 157 will now be equal to our t to the power of 1 all over 157. There, because the whole of this will now be for this, then all raised to n again. So what is n? n is also uh, to the power of, let's put this in bracket, our t all raised to 1 all over 1, 5, 7. A close bracket. Everything raised to 1, 5, 7. So all raised to 1, 5, 7. Any confusion here? No. Let's pull the earth gradually here. So what happens here, you discover that if we have to look at this first, then these we go with this. So we are not left with what? Our t to the power of 1 all over 157 all raised to t. So we now have this to be equal to our t all raised to 1 all over 157 all raised to the power of what? t. That is what is left out here. Okay, so if this is what is left out here, let's go back to our original equation. Look at the whole of this is equal to 157. Then look at what we have here now. Because we have this drop down here is equal to this. And so if this is equal to this, automatically we're saying that this is equal to 157. So we can equally rewrite the whole of this as our t right to the power of 1 all over 157 all raised to the power of t. This is equal to 157. Are we learning something here? Yes. So what we do here, according to the law of indices, we can use this to open up this. Remember the law? Let's put it here. It says that if you have your p to the power of a, b, this is same thing as your p to the power of a, bracket, your b. And this is also same thing as your p to the power of b, bracket, your a. So if we succumb to this rule here, then we can rewrite our equation here. So we can ship in this. This will now give us here t to the power of our t all over 157. This is equal to 157. Good. Are we learning something here? Yes, we are learning something very good. Something very nice. Okay. I want to eliminate this fracture here. So for us to eliminate this fracture, I want to raise both sides of this equation to the power of 
one five seven. So this we now give us here t r raised to the power of t all over one five seven r raised to one five seven equal to one five seven r raised to one five seven because whatever we do to the right hand side we must equally do to the left hand side so again if we pull this law into consideration okay putting that law into consideration what happened this and this will leave so we are left with t to the power of t equal to one five seven to the power of one five seven true yes so if that is true what happened it means our t is equal to what one five seven so therefore we have our t is equal to one five seven again at first we don't have t in our system so we'll go back to where we said let t be equal to n to the power of one five seven so let's do that substitution recall that we said that let t so we have t be equal to our n to the power of one five seven and we'll solve our t to be one five seven already so we can put it in here so this one will give us one five seven right is equal to n to the power of one five seven easy now we want to get this all we just need to do is to raise this to the power of one all of our one five seven okay to eliminate this because we are looking for n okay so let me rewrite the equation first so we have here n to the power of one five seven is equal to one five seven okay so if we have to raise both sides to our one all of our one five seven we're going to have here n to the power of your one five seven all raised to one all of our one five seven is equal to one five seven all raised to one all of our one five seven good again according to the law this and this leaves the system so we now have our n is equal to one five seven all raised to one all of our one five seven okay so in conclusion we have therefore n is equal to one five seven raised to one all of our one five seven okay so this is the value of n that will satisfy the original equation as seen here so if you find the numerical value here and you plug it into this original equation here which is this it will satisfy the original equation all right so if you've learned something from this math olipet challenge drop it in the comment section and if you have a better way of solving this also also drop it in the comment section thanks for being there if you've not subscribed remember to subscribe because that is the only way only ground whereby the youtube algorithm will notify you whenever we release an amazing video because we are dedicated to releasing powerful math solutions math challenges giving you a step-by-step -step breakdown to every complex math olipid question or math problem math challenge ranging from different levels thanks once again we love you bye for the now